What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering and a Department of Justice unveiling a new uh, indictment against uh, with some apparent link. Now, left wing media, of course, is stretching and twisting and turning uh, to Tim Pool, Benny Johnson, Tucker Carlson, as well as Tenet Media. Uh, this article is being shared by the losers at Midas Touch, and uh, it's absolutely bonkers. You know, Tucker, Tim, Benny Johnson, Lauren Southern, the usual suspects, the Russian assets, we knew them to be all along. I mean, I don't really understand how these people, um, you know, why can't I get any of the Marussia bucks? I like vodka. I like vodka. Where, where's all my Russia, Russia bucks? I don't get any of this. Uh, as, as far as I know, uh, I can be fairly certain that I don't know Tucker, but, you know, Benny and Lauren and Tim, I am sure, are completely clean in all of this. But that isn't stopping the left from pushing out all sorts of articles about them. And it isn't stopping me from reminding you there is just hours left in my 25% off site-wide sale at Coffee Brand Coffee. If you've been waiting to try us out, literally the Labor Day sale, I extended because we were behind, on a little bit behind in filling orders because we sold so many on Monday. We're all caught up. We're set, and so we end up roasting a bunch more. Everything's in stock. Our blueberry cobbler, strawberries and cream, butterscotch, toffee, our cold brew. Um, our summer flavors still in stock. Last chance to get them. Blackberry cream, s'mores, orange cream skull, hazelnut churro. We have bourbon flavor, double, double calf, decaf, dark light, Ethiopian, Colombian. We have literally everything in whole bean and ground. The freshest coffee you'll find online anywhere. My guarantee, if you don't like it, I'll give you 100% of your money back. No questions asked. Give us a try. Link in the description below. So here is the article on the garbage left-wing outlet, Midas Touch or <clears throat> Midas News. Now, they think putting the word news on it makes it credible, but they, they appear to be just doing the best they can to smear these people. Two Russian nationals employed by state control media outlet, RT, are charged with conspiring to break U.S. laws by secretly funding and directing pro-Russian content on social media platforms. Tim Pool and Benny Johnson pushing a lot of pro-Russia content. Oh, I remember when Tucker Carlson went grocery shopping and was like, wow, look how clean their stores are. Is that what you is that what you consider pro-Russia content? Now, the Department of Justice has unsealed an indictment charging two Russian nationals. I'm not even gonna try. Well, let me go. Konstantin Kalishnikov. And Elena often say with conspiring to violate foreign agents the Registration Act and money laundering in a scheme to covertly influence U.S. audiences, both Kalishnikov and Afanasevia remain at large. The indictment reveals that the two were employees of RT. By the way, Rumble is blocked in Russia, um, so you know there's that. Um, they played pivotal roles in funneling nearly $10 million to a Tennessee-based online content creation company. Uh-oh. Referred in court documents as Company One. Now, I don't know. Uh, you know, th this is this is a very wild. Um, you know, <laughs> it's it's. Uh, I know that um, Luke and I give the folks at Tenant. Uh, a lot of trouble. Um, <laughs> they call them the billionaire boys, uh, but you know, I actually don't think that they are connected. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the indictment on its remarks. Oh wait, sorry. The indictment reveals that the two uh, had funneled nearly ten million dollars into a Tennessee-based online content creation company, referred to in a court documents as Company One. The content company, unbeknownst to its viewers, was funded and directed by RT to produce pro-Russian videos aimed at American social media users. This company is believed to be Tenant Media, who touts right-wing hosts Lauren Southern, Tim Pool, Benny Johnson, and others. Now, as far as I know, Benny Johnson, Tim Pool, Lauren Southern, they do not own this company, and they would have no idea uh, about any how they get financed. You know, Tenant Media did burst onto the scene um, not that long after my, in my opinion, far superior news outlet, the Publica. Have you read the Publica? 
you know, we're a hundred percent fan funded. We don't get any big checks from, um, from, from Mo Russia, but, uh, that's only a joke, but, uh, you know, check out the publica.com check out our social media. Our, our X account is always trending, doing lots of interesting things. Anyway, it's believed to be now that it is not proved. The indictment remarks on its website, U.S. company described itself as a network of heterodox commentators that focuses on Western political and cultural issues. The phrase matches the tenant slogan, which appears on their website. The indictment further states that the two founder and founder two also worked together to deceive two U.S. online commentators uh, who respectively have 2.4 and 1.3 million subscribers. Founder one and founder two contracted Commentator 1 and Commentator 2 to produce videos using Commentator 1 and Commentator 2's own names and leveraging their existence for license and publication by Company 1. That's a lot of legalese. That basically says, hey, they paid Benny Johnson and Tim Pool to make pro-Russia videos. Uh, I have never seen Tim Pool make a pro-Russia video. I know that Tim Pool has... A uh, hundred thousand people paying him ten dollars a month on TimCast.com. I f- would find it, I find it completely without merit that Tim Pool would take money to make a, a video of any type. He wouldn't even take money. I said, "Hey, you want to promote Coffee Brand Coffee?" And he's like, "Yeah, no, I'm just going to start my own inferior coffee company." But that's neither here nor there. The subscriber accounts mentioned in the indictments match the number of YouTube subscribers for the accounts of Benny Johnson and Tim Pool, respectively. Again, not proof. Lots of people have those number of subscribers. There are probably thousands of people with 2.4 subscribe, 2.4 million subscribers. Russia has long sought to exploit our free and open society by secretly influencing public opinion in the United States, said Attorney General Merrick Garland. The Department of Justice will not tolerate these covert efforts by foreign adversaries to manipulate democracy. The DOJ alleges that between October 2023 and August 2024, RT transferred nearly $10 million to a company, uh, they say is tenant, through a network of shell companies in Turkey, the UAE, and Meritus. The funds were allegedly used to produce and distribute content designed to sow discord among Americans, amplifying domestic divisions on issues like immigration, inflation, and U.S. foreign policy. At no point... Have they made any connection between Tim Pool, Benny Johnson, Tucker, or Lauren Southern, or even Tenet knowingly taking money f- to produce Russian-related assets? In fact, this article has, in my opinion, provided a significant amount of reasonable doubt saying, well, they passed all this through a bunch of shell companies. I mean, how would they know? I mean, I take ads for you know, various products. And how would I know if some shell company threw another shell company? Nobody has time. No reasonable person can do that amount of research. Since its launch in November 2023, Company One, believed to be Tenant Media, has posted nearly 2,000 medias across videos across platforms such as YouTube, TikTok, uh, Instagram, and X, garnering 16 million uh, views. Now, just for what I can say, as of right now, Tenant Media has not said anything about it. Their Twitter remains completely, you know, it's, they're just posting as normal. Uh, the DOJ notes that while the content appeared to offer commentary on domestic issues, that it was aligned with the Russian government's goal of weakening U.S. opposition to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. So if I don't support the, um, what's going on in Ukraine, which I don't, okay, Does that mean I'm a Russian asset? If I say, hmm, I understand maybe why Russia thinks the way they do. Does that make me a Russian asset? So then if I have any opinion that slightly agrees with somebody else, and then they buy an ad on my video, am I suddenly a Russian asset? Now, the two individuals who funneled the money in, maybe they're criminals. I don't know. But certainly to say Tim Pool and all these other people, that's wild. The defendants are also accused of deceiving two U.S.-based online commentators with large followings into producing content. So they deceive them. So they're saying they got tricked. Tim Pool and, T- and Benny Johnson got tricked into producing content without disclosing RT's involvement. The DOJ alleges that RT used a fictional persona named 
Edward Gregorian, well, I better check my inbox, see if any emails from that person, to conceal its role as a company's true financial backer. Within the indictment lies a troubling sequence involving directives from the two to manipulate content creation at allegedly tenant media, aiming to tailor videos to specific agendas. <clears throat> Notably, in early 2024, they orchestrated a well-tailored content that included a video featuring a well-known U.S. political commentator who might as touch can identify as Tucker Carlson during a bizarre visit to Russian Gro- Ah, it is a good- did go back to the grocery store. <clears throat> I mean, what? Both Kalishnikov and Afanseya, Seva, face charges of conspiracy to violate FARA, meaning they didn't disclose that they were Russian assets, which carries a maximum sentence of five years in prison, and conspiracy to commit money laundering, which carries a maximum of 20 years. The FBI is leading the investigation into the case, and authorities are actively seeking the whereabouts of the defendants. The case is part of a broader effort by U.S. government to counter foreign malign influence operational. How come I can't get into $10 million from Russia? How come they give $10 million to them, but not me? But the publica could use, the publica is totally member supportive. We need $10 million. Why not buy $10 million in coffee from me, not Tim? Promo code LABOR. Last day, 25% off. Obviously, I would be shocked. I can, per, I would bet my reputation, my entire reputation, that at least Tim Pool and Benny Johnson had no idea whatsoever. I guarantee you that Tim Pool did not take any single amount of money to produce a single video. That's not who he is. He doesn't need the money. I doubt Benny Johnson did either. Tucker, I don't know him. Um, that also seems unlikely. And as far as Lauren goes. I also doubt it. Um, it seems like Midas News is just trying to smear these people. I've reached out to my tenant boys to see what's going on with this. Obviously, nobody's gotten back to me. So uh, I suppose I'm not surprised. Maybe that's why Tim hasn't posted today. Maybe he's working on a response to this. I don't know. I will be live tonight on Rumble and perhaps Quartercast until they strike me down. Um, Reacting, watching the Donald Trump, um, the Donald Trump uh, debate against nobody, the town hall. So that's at eight Eastern, so seven Central. Hope I see you then, and uh, I'll be keeping an eye on this one. Yikes.